So uh, just want to begin with some of the first steps. So uh, for most of everybody who was here this morning, you've already heard this, but if you're running any version of Windows, Windows 7, Windows 10, it doesn't really matter. Uh, right now, we currently don't support directly installing onto Windows uh, due to dependencies issues, so you wouldn't need to install a virtual machine. Uh, hopefully, we could hear that this morning, but if not, I'm more than happy to help you with this right now. Um, but once you've done that, you'll have a Linux operating system, so you'll follow the Linux instructions, uh, and you'll do everything for installing ARMG inside the virtual machine, installing Anaconda inside the virtual machine and everything. Um, so I want to go ahead and point everybody to where you can find the instructions, which we just updated over the weekend. Uh, if you go to rmg.mit.edu in your web browser, uh, from there on the left-hand side, you'll see a documentation tab, uh, RMG user's guide, and then go to installation. Uh, and you'll be following uh, the instructions for Linux if you installed a Linux virtual machine or Mac OS if you're lucky to have a Mac. Um, and then you'll have two different options for instructions that you can follow. If you plan on contributing to RMG Pi a lot, or if you uh, plan on updating the database extensively, we recommend you follow the instructions that are labeled uh, for developers. Uh, if not, uh, follow the instructions for basic users. Uh, these are just the binaries. There's uh, less you have to deal with Git. You're welcome to install any version you want, of course. Uh, but the binary ones are a little bit easier if you don't have to deal with Git. Uh, and you're not planning on uh, pushing code that often. Uh, so I think what we're going to do now is kind of like what we did for the virtual machine session. I'm going to let you guys uh, go to this website and start following the instructions. There's a few of us in the room to uh, go around and help answer questions as you go. Um, and also, uh, for the people who are watching this online, uh, we have somebody watching the chat right now. So if you have installation questions, feel free to post them there, and we'll make sure that somebody gets back to you there. But in the meantime, I'll let you guys go free um, if you have questions. Uh, if you get far enough along, uh, there's some stuff I will put up here later about testing your RMG installation to make sure you actually have it working. Um, but for now, I'll leave it here uh, for at least for the first few minutes. Are there any questions before I let you guys go free? Yeah. Uh, just real quick before we get too farther along, I've gone ahead and put a slide up about testing your RMG Pi installation once you've got everything uh, installed. If you did to developers, your life's a little bit simpler. You just type this. Uh, I'm going to help you with that. If you did the binary based users installation, uh, we created an input file. Uh, if you go to this URL and download it, and then just run this input file as the instructions tell you to, uh, rg.py, input.py. Uh, this is our super minimal example. If it runs, you get model generation completed just fine, then rmg.py is uh, working just fine. 